I was gonna wear this shirt, but it looks like my uh my dog's got in a fight with it. Now luckily you guys can see it on the stream. So it looks alright, but my dog's got in a fight with my shirt, and I want you guys to see this real quick. You gotta see this. You see that? Now, this is how it's supposed to look. Anyways. Well, I'm gonna wear it anyways. My arms are ripped. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, if anything, it gets rid of more clothing, which is pretty good. It's, a, it's like a new trend, man. It's a new trend. Oh, Owly, you're so cute. Look at him. <gasps> Look at the boy. <gasps> Look at the boy. The Boston Terrier. The cutest damn thing ever. Guys, you know what I want to try out more often? Orange pellets. So orange pellets works pretty well with... Uh... By the way, I'm going to do this just because I feel like this needs to be released. Shave it off? Okay, we'll shave it off. What do we got? Grand finale now. Do alchemize. You're everything I adore. You're everything I... What's up, Justice? I'm doing Brecco. Hey, Eric. Yeah, good to see you around here. Yeah. Yeah, about that. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Eric, you know, you know, it's it's not intentional. I'm talking about the the. Ooh, this is an interesting option. I'm talking about this photo right here. One sec. Got it. Wow! I took 26 damage for Ori Calcum. Worth. Ah, I have to defend, otherwise... Yeah, I can't take any more damage. It looks a lot cooler now than before, in your opinion? Thank you. Wait, when you said... Like... Oh, uh, but... You say that, but let me show you something. Wait, now that we're here, just cause real quick, just the beginning of the stream. The beginning of the stream is a little bit more chill, right? <laughs> What's up, Laura? How you doing? Alright, uh, we got back to the dagger spray. It's Windows 7, actually. What's up, Water Snails? It's Windows 7. Even even worse. Doggy. Oh, the doggo moved. Doggo moved. Doggito. 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 Oh, he went to sleep in my jacket. Oh, my God. The most precious boy ever. Oh, my God. He went to sleep in my jacket, guys. Let's do dagger spray. Alright, let's focus. He likes my smell. Don't ask me why he likes my smell. Trust me, don't ask me why. Hound dog's the most precious thing. So I woke up in the morning, right? And my dog was having to pee. And he woke me up. He was like crying like... Like my, my other dog, Isaac. He was crying, trying to get to go outside. Because, you know, as a dog owner, you don't get to sleep as much as you like to sleep because you have to take care of your dogs. So... I was reluctant. I was like, Isaac, no, man. Like, come on. And I'm trying to sleep. Like, stop it. And then I woke up and I, I checked Reddit. For some reason, I sometimes I check Reddit when I, when I wake up. Don't ask me why. And I saw a dog on the front page who was a service dog who was managing a, uh, the owner's panic attack. And as soon as I saw that, for some reason I was like, man, these dogs have so much empathy. I'm going to get up immediately and take these boys out. And it's up to me to be empathetic for this dog who needs me to walk him. Because he's always empathetic for me, right? I know it's kind of weird, but I had this moment where I was like, you know, dogs are amazing, so I'm never again going to not wake up immediately to take him out, because he depends on me. Let's do Dagger Throw Acrobatics. Nah. What do humans deserve dogs? I don't know, man. I don't know. Dogs are great. So, uh, moral of the story is... Empathy, it's a good feeling. Oh, 
Welcome, Beta. Finally, you're finally here. You missed everything. You missed everything. You're gonna have to go back. It's too late. The working man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But, uh... We can work on that. This, uh, this idea of being straight. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on, you're not straight. We're on Twitch. Everybody's Cap of Pride on Twitch. Everybody's a Cap of Pride. We got Poison Cyber Bane. Mmm. I like the Bane a little bit. Hey, we take care of dogs, right? We feed them, take them out. Bag of prep. I got two starting relics. What do I do deserve that? Sexuality, guys. It's a spectrum. Alright? Sexuality is a spectrum. So, you're neither straight nor bi. You're either... You're neither straight nor gay. Right? I'll say the word gay. Yeah. That's a sensitive word, but it is what it is, right? There's nothing wrong about it. You're either... Uh, a little bit more on this side of the timeline, or the spectrum. A little bit more on that side of the spectrum. You're a little bit, everybody's a little bit fluid. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Ask the Greeks. All the way back then, what happened in times of war, with man on man love, all right? Or just ask the. Uh, you don't even have to ask the Greeks. It's 2018. Gender, gender, sexuality, fluidity. It's, it's well known. Let's uh, let's do one thing though. Let's do one thing. Oh my god, the most precious boy ever. How about a heal? Why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, wow, that sounded sexy. That's kind of sexy, guys. That's okay, we don't gotta name the sexualities. I addressed all of them. I said, listen, it is a spectrum. Therefore, everything's addressed. Gray sexual. What? What is this? Tapio, you guys are crazy. Don't forget metrosexual, am I right? Gotta collect those eyebrows, baby. I heard that word so much growing up. It was, you know, it's weird when you don't know a word, you feel like you hear it more often. Or maybe it's just during the time where I was growing up, it was really popular. But I heard the word metrosexual so much growing up. And I never hear it now. But when I was growing up, it was like, He's very metrosexual. That guy's metrosexual. It was, it, was like a, it was like a trend to call people metrosexual. What happened to that trend? Let's go back to the metrosexual trend. When you're attracted to intelligence. I mean, that's you don't need a word for that. Isn't everybody attracted, attracted to intelligence? Who isn't attracted to intelligence? Come on, answer me. Who is not attracted to intelligence? It's just... Everybody's attracted to intelligence. Bottom line. Bottom line, dude. Intelligence is an attractive trait. You know what's funny? Don't ask me how I know this. I mean, I read this in a study. They say that reading, saying you read books or having like, or reading books, just in general, increases your, uh, your success in your dating life. So guys, if you're having trouble in your dating life, read more books. Read more books, go on a date, Yo, you're gonna do well on that date. Guarantee it. Now, I can't guarantee it 100%, but 99%, okay. Okay, I can't guarantee it at all. But it, uh, try it out, read a book. It's gonna improve your life. 
Predator or Thousand Cuts. Mmm. Speaking of which, I need to read more books, guys. I, I would become a better streamer if I read more books. I would become a much better streamer. Huh. <laughs> you read the book while on the date. That's how you win the date. You read the book. The girl's like, or the guy, man, he's so mysterious. I feel like he's listening, but not really. I gotta get more. I gotta know this guy more. Meanwhile, you're over here like, this book is getting really good. Before you know it, they're asking for a second date. You're like, damn, yes, I'll read a book again with you. Success. Success. You're reading books. They're talking. I don't know. I mean, things are happening. We got Predator Thousand Cuts. What do we do, guys? What do we do? I don't know if I want to do... I want any of these. Thousand Cuts. Ascendant Bane is something you get when you are an Ascender. When you ascend to these high levels, this high extreme level that I'm on, right? Super extreme high level that I, I that I show you guys every single day with no misplays and no signs and no abandoning. Every single day I show you guys the highest of levels, right? That's then you get a curse. For being so high level, you get a curse. Now again, being high level, it's a curse in itself. You know how they say genius is the thin line between insanity or whatever? Yes. Well, if you haven't heard it now, you did. Uh, yeah, that's what that's my center thing is. She'll marry you? Clear. Clear's got it. Mistakes were made. We're gonna, need to, we're gonna need to spread the stream around, guys. You have to tell it to your friends, your family, your co-workers. Over on the uh, the YT side of things, we were hitting good numbers, guys. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta spread the stream around. I was gonna go for perfect. Who cares? Guys, you gotta bring your friends, your loved ones, everybody. Get them on in here. Co-workers. Your animals. Your, your not aunts, nieces, and nephews. I get aroused, Demi, guys. So I... What's up? Time to post in your Discord. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, guys, see, see, you guys are here when I have some bad streams, right? Like, like, like past couple weeks we had a couple bad streams. I want you guys to be here on my good streams. I want you guys to, to be here. You know, forget about it. Whoever is here is all that's important. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to shut up right now. We have Burst, Tools of Trade, uh, Storm of Steel. We're going to do Burst. Just for the malaise. Now, I have this weird thing going on right now. Guys, are you very particular about your mouse? So, like, I'll tell you what. I have a mouse, right? And a mouse pad, like most people do, of course. And then, there are times where my girlfriend uses the mouse pad... And the mouse and she messes it all up and sometimes she gets crumbs on it and sometimes she changes the amount of slack that the mouse has and sometimes she even changes the dpi of the mouse and sometimes she even changes the where the mouse pad is now as somebody who uses my computer all the time um when those things are changed it feels damn awkward so give me a second Man, the slack. See, only FPS gamers will know this. You, you guys, if you don't play FPS or competitive games, you wouldn't know this, alright? Just, you can close your stream. No, don't close your stream, please. Stay here. Alright, you haven't used a mouse pad? Or you, you, you're, clearly, you're not a gamer. Clearly, you're not a gamer. I'm thinking about it, bro. I'm thinking about it. After what happened... Whoa, we got the hovering kite. Too bad. It's a little bit... You see, I think... We were all like, man, Hovering Kite looks amazing, guys. But now it's like two cards, and we're like, damn, Hovering Kite looks like trash. How do we save the kite? How do we save it? It's like, it's one card difference. It's just like, okay, it's either... It's either great or it's trash. Where's the fine line? Where's the fine line with this bad boy? You need good card draw? No, Ashes it doesn't work, because Ashes Rift is uh, exhaust. But what it works with is tough bandages. So tough bandages. It, for the first turn, it's fine, right? Because I have bag of prep in this. But every other turn, I'm I'm discarding too, and that's when it gets worse. I'm not doing it. 
I'm not doing it. Yes, you know what this should do? Make it one card, make it random. That's it. Fasta is a genius. Where's Anthony? I gotta give this to Anthony. Where I need to make a suggestion. Open up the Discord. Open up Discord. Actually, I gotta think about that. That may not be the best option, to be honest. I will try it out. Hovering kite. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. You and me, buddy. Thank you, Billy. Plays badly with the resub. I don't know why the sub doesn't go through, but damn it, we need to get that oh shit right now. With a tier one Great content, three months in a row. Great streamer. Keep it up. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Oh shit. So now we need card draw, guys. You know what we need? Two cards. Oh my goodness. Gracious. We got burst malaise. I guess that's fine. And we win. Yeah, I know, it was originally not one discard, but now I have to discard two. Oh my god, look at my hand. <laughs> look at it. That is ridiculous. If you have a curse, you're playing two cards effectively. Oh, I mean, shit. Oh, it went through two. Great nice. Great streamer. Keep Hell it. yeah, dude. Hell yeah, we got announced twice. Oh my god, this hovering kite is like float central. Float central. How can you guys think this is good? How? <laughs> it has extra teeth, yep, it does. It does. It has such extra teeth. Ah, uh, fire potion. Hmm, sure. Escape planes? No, backflip is good. My backflip helps manage it, I guess. Whoa! I've never had this before, and I want to try it. This is pretty cool, actually, because we are discarding cards every single turn, so this is probably pretty good, except... Yeah, I'm sorry, young sidesteps. I mean, I, I, uh, I know, man. I hope so, too, man. I hope so, too. You know, Twitch is... YouTube's, look, YouTube's looking pretty pretty sexy right about now. Maybe, maybe I that's not going to help my chances, but uh, I don't know. Twitch needs to uh, put a ring on it. So we got backflip. We got single courage. We got sneaky strike. I like sneaky strike and I like backflip. Yeah, it's basically zero cost. Hey, thank you, young man. Welcome. Um, it's basically zero cost card, you say, Eric, but you gotta realize there's the opportunity cost of... I'm discarding two cards a turn, which means if I want to play Sneaky Strike, I have to discard potentially a defense or whatever, and have Sneaky Strike be one of the three cards I play on a turn. One of the three cards I play on a turn. Yeah, it doesn't seem as good, does it? Didn't think so. But we have Malay, so Malay's gonna do a lot of work. Necron, yep, Necron Sneaky Strike for sure. Great combo. You never said it seems good. Oh, okay, you're playing that card, huh? You're playing that card. Never said it seems good. Giving me the old never said it seems good. I just mentioned something. I never said it was good, Kappa. Okay. 
Back out now, I see. My turn one is pretty blitz because I got two starting my legs, baby. Got bag of prep and bag of prep. We got bag of preparations. I guess we'll take acrobatics. Malaise. Oh, we're getting malaise first turn every turn. How can you lose when you got malaise? Boom, 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 boom. That was a mistake. I didn't want to take that damage because I want. I didn't want. To, oh fuck! You guys know what I mean. Damn it! You guys know what I wanted to do. It's okay. It is what it is. The kite gives me energy, but discards two cards. Yeah, I hear you, Fasa. Give me a na -na -na. burst alchemize. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I never played Dust Force. What is that about? Now, the only reason we're doing so well, guys, is because of malaise. Just keep that in mind. Precision platformer? Okay, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. How much does that sell for? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Predator. Four card draw. Now I'm not so worried. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. I need malaise on this turn. This is the turn we need malaise. You understand that, right? This is the turn you give us malaise. Not the other turns. It's this turn. This turn. Hello. Whoa, we have energy gain because of Sneaky Strike, and oh my goodness, I just realized we just got the best deck in the world. YouTube, how are you guys doing? Today, we're going to do a crazy little deck. We got Hovering Kite, Sneaky Strike, and we got Necronomicon. Doesn't seem crazy? Just watch. Just watch. You're not intrigued yet. Keep watching. Oh, I wish I could do this. That's fine. You too. That's a double predator. It's getting good, man. It's getting good. Wow. In Venom or Sneaky Strike number two? I mean... I mean... We sneaky today, baby. We sneaky today. Thank you, Stormtrooper. Appreciate it, man. Welcome. Let's get the energy. And I'll tell you what, we got a big fat malaise, and I'm not afraid to use it. Why did I discard acrobatics? Because of this, that's why. Don't ask me questions. It all makes sense in the end. Darling. Uh, so about Sticky Strike. Eric, I remember you said you, you said it wasn't good, but now you're changing your mind. That sounds a little suspect. I don't know about that. I 
Ow. The energy. Now Acrobatics is a king god. Damn. You're trolling me. You're trolling me, Eric. You're a good troll. And that's why we have you on Twitch. Where you belong. To be a troll. We got Terror. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's called Hovering Kite, my friends. What's up, Mega Crit? Anthony, how you doing, man? I was just talking about your hovering kite. We got a nice little mechanic going on. You know, I was bashing your hovering kite for a second, and now I'm not bashing it anymore. So hopefully you didn't see the part where I was bashing it, and now you're just here to see when I'm embracing it. So we're, we're embracing hovering kite now. And no, I never bashed it, and no, they're lying to you. I wasn't bashing it per se. I was just saying, you know, like, there's a fine line between discarding one card and two cards. You're up till 4 a.m.? Hey, wow. Were you working hard or something? Well, welcome, man. I mean, we got a nice little deck going on, Anthony. I mean, this is something to behold. This is quite special. Too hot to sleep? Oh, that's the worst. Sneaky strike. I mean, guys. The deck's perfect, in my opinion. The deck's perfect. Well, you know, it's hot because it's global warming, guys. They want to deny it, but look, we won't deny it anymore. The world's getting hotter. And humans are responsible. So we gotta act up. Rather, we gotta stop acting up. We gotta start being responsible. As I stream... And you use energy and electricity all day. Yeah, scrungy. If global warming doesn't exist, then how did Club Penguin not get shut down? Let's talk about that. I got, whoa, we got uh, 200 biddies from, from I'm Jagged. Hey man, just got S, uh, STP, I think you mean. Oh, Slay the Sparrow. I was looking up builds and guys and came up on your YouTube uh, page. Safe to say I haven't got much done today. Thanks for the great content. Thank you, I Am Jagged. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the 200 bits, and I'm glad you like the content. And if you just got Slay the Spire, I am both I am both grateful. Not grateful. I'm happy that you have, you know, found the game. And I'm also sad that you're going to lose all that free time in your life. But it's going to be worth it because you're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to enjoy yourself, man. But yeah, make sure you have some time set aside. Make sure you call in sick for work. Whatever you gotta do. I'm gonna fix it so that the dog cam doesn't get messed up anymore. Dog cam's good, guys. So we're gonna do... Whoa, wait a second. So we're gonna do burst backflip, right? So we got all this card draw. And Anthony said this, this, this deck looks sick, and it really does. I mean, this deck is really, really, really something else. This deck is amazing, guys. I need to focus up because we're on YouTube. Whoa, we got Reflex. I'm kind of curious to try this out. We're on YouTube, right? So we gotta be professional for YouTube. We got This is one of my favorite relics. I love this relic. I want to have this relic all the time. Love it. 
Matter of fact, I want a mod where I can have incense burner like like multiple times and have them at different Oh man. Imagine. You know what I want? An event, a rare event in Slay the Spire that can duplicate a relic. An event that can duplicate a relic. That would be cool. That would be cool. Probably broken, but be cool. Full heal. So we, so with reflex, we discard two, draw two. Dude, killing it. But with a chance to consume the relic as well, exactly. With with this game, there's a balance. You want to make that decision? Okay, that's fine. But there's a chance you're gonna consume the relic. We're gonna draw four cards next turn. See, I'll get rid of this. It's okay, whatever. It, it happens, right? But then smack daddly do. Then we got this to play. Smack smack. Got a little bit of that to play. We do a little bit of this just to kill that dude, right? A little bit of that. Maybe a little bit of smack it back right there. A little bit of that, and then a little bit of that. Before you know it, guys, we're taking only what? Four damage. Four damage. Give me sneaky strike. Give me sneaky strike. Damn. You know what? We're looking for sneaky strike. I'm committed. I'm committed. We got it. Now the fun keeps going. Because now we do acrobatics on the reflex. And what do you know? We got Sneaky Strike again. What do you know? Let's get a thousand cuts out there. And let's do Bane. And this feels like the best deck I've ever had in the longest time. I'm absolutely overjoyed with this deck, guys. I mean, I'm having a great time. Next time we have uh, Intangible. What a great time to have Intangible. I want to draw. Whew, sneaky strike, my friend. But I do think card draw is better. But I want to play this first. Because I want to... Damn. Because if I don't play first, I can't get to play Predator. Oh my god. Good thing we got the Hovering Kite. I was doubting it. My god, how foolish was I, man. How foolish was I. I don't know why I doubted this thing. This thing's ridiculously awesome. It brings to life Sneaky Strike. Like this card doesn't get enough love. How about this? <laughs> Discard three. Let's do it. Discard three a turn. Hell yeah. Remove two cards. Wait. Is this not amazing with Hovering Kite? This is why they added it. They added it for Hovering Kite. Yes, yeah, so I don't have the Bag of Prep anymore, but I draw an extra card each turn. I already had Bag of Prep. We take this, we have even more card draw each turn. Tell me this is not amazing with Hovering Kite. This is why they created this. Yes. 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 Now, the only, thing I got, the only thing I can stop this run is if I go crazy with the elites, which I don't want to do, but let's see. Hi, Mom. I'm on YouTube. Now, settle down, children. We still could die yet. All right, we can still die yet. Not everything's in the bag yet. This guy's a big spicy man. Reflex. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so Terror, yes. Sneaky Strike, yes. A little bit of that, a little bit of... Oh, GG. Before we kill him. Now, what's so great about... Um, intangible, right? Is that next turn I have Intangible first turn. That's great. I mean, next fight. Like, right, this fight right here. 
Ooh, baby boy. Drink. Let's do... I think I should kill these guys, but at the same time... Yeah, I should kill these guys, shouldn't I? I should. It's a lot of excess energy. Oh, wait, I didn't get to do, I didn't get to do my, my double. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, that's bad. Ah, uh, eh, eh. Holy shit! I should I should play that first. What's wrong with me? I mean, the fact that Predator, Necronomicon is like the MVP, Gambling Chip, wow. <laughs> Omamori, toolbox for the boot. Oh, thank you for the resub, bro. Didn't, didn't that pop up? Oh my god, why is Twitch not doing that? Oh shit! Bro, I'm too legit to quit with a two month resub Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Let's uh, put the text on the screen. Bloop! Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you, man. We got uh, Oma Mori. Maybe that's fine. Maybe I'll take that. I could have been a Chrysalis. Could have been a chrysalis. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, that was gambling chip. That was gambling chip. I was so confused. Gambringu Chipu. Gambringu Chipu. It worked. Oh, thank you. Three months. I was wrong. Oh shit. Yeah, my, my my thing. You know what I gotta do, guys? I gotta actually update to the oh, newest. Oh shit. Hell yeah. I gotta update to the newest. Um. I gotta update to the newest OBS. We're running his time meter. Huh. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. Gain 990 gold, you get to normality, but we have one more, so we just get the gold. Is there a shop? There's not a shop, so 
Yeah, we're very close to the new PC goal, guys. Actually, I gotta add some money to it because the YouTube stream had a little bit of donations I have to add. So we, if we had a shop, I would take this 100%, but we don't have a shop. Yeah, bro, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to catch up on. I'll get a rare relic. I mean, there's a chance that these are gonna be a shop. Upgrade all cards. Okay, what do we just about the rare relic? You know, the rare relic is probably gonna be ice cream because we already have gambling chip. I mean, there's, there's all things it could be as well. It's not guaranteed to be gambling chip. I mean, guaranteed to be ice cream. It would be nice though. Bum, 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 bum. Thousand cuts with the two sneaky strike commanza balanza, dude. Love it. Oh, get out of here and give me the card draw. Hell yes. Hell yes. Smack, smack. Oh, sorry. Were you trying to attack me? <laughs> Hilarious. Another weekend? I might take another weekend, to be honest. We do need another weekend, even though we do have malaise. You know, I keep the deck nice and thin. What? I say thin, it's 30 cards. I feel like we should rest. I feel like we should rest. Just to be safe, because there's a lot of elites coming up. I'm getting rid of the trade. It's not doing anything. I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's good for the YouTube. You know, maybe Burst needs to go. No, sorry to the trade. Why did I say yes to this? I didn't actually want to do this. Alright, we'll keep the uh, piercing whale. Ow. Ow. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, let's do this. This. This, that. Okay. Ow. In two turns, we have been vulnerable. What's up, Jacor? How you doing, man? Welcome. Next turn we have intangible. Next turn we're intangible. Akamai's. Oh, beautiful. Man, we are killing it, my friends. I'll take the peace pipe. I'll take the Vajra. Now we can either choke, we can dig, or we can rest or upgrade. We can upgrade the, um... I'm not sure. I guess we took out one of the strikes. We'll dig once, just for the, just for the lulls. Yeah! It's a little late for that. This guy. This guy's a son of a gun. This guy is a son of a gun. We got burst malaise, but at the same time we also got sneaky strike. Let's do this. Sneaky strike twice. Then we do burst malaise. Well, I want to play this, and then we do burst malaise. That gives me a little bit of a head start. I'm sorry, Jacor. I don't know how to fix that. I really don't. Oh, let's do region pot. <laughs> oh, yes, darling. 
We've got a sneaky strike on our hands. Oh, you didn't see that one coming? Funny, because neither did I. What? I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello, Harry Potter. I'm messing with your mind, that's why that happened. I did the order all wrong. I should have done all that stuff last time. But, uh, yeah, this is Poggers, baby. We're pogging out right now. We're pogging out. If you're not pogging out, then you're not looking at this properly. This is Pog Champaroo. Easy. Easy, he said. I like the leg sweep for the weekend. I really do. My dog's taking a nap. You know, dogs like to sleep. Like they, they like to take naps around. I mean, here's the thing about dogs. If you're not doing anything, if you're not being active, they'll find themselves sleeping. Dogs can sleep a long time. <sighs> Didn't you know everybody's a special snowflake? We're all unique little children. We're all special and talented and gifted. And we're gonna keep telling that to our children until none of them actually achieve what they could because they didn't realize that yeah you may be gifted and special but damn you got to work hard and damn discipline is really important matter of fact a really smart person with no application is not doing that much anyways uh i'm not venting no <clears throat> I have seen the movie Whiplash. I really do enjoy the movie Whiplash. How you doing, Everfiller? What have you been up to, man? Okay, so we can do leg sweep. Do we want it? I think, yeah, I think we'll take a leg sweep. That's, I'm fine with that. Why do you mention that? Uh, I love lips. I think Whiplash was an amazing movie. It's uh, quite intense as well. Match the tempo! Are you dragging or are you... Wait, is... Are you dragging or are you... What does he say? Tempo! I don't know what he says. You're not in my tempo. You're not in my tempo. I didn't take the free relic. Why does this happen all the time? Rushing or dragging. There you go. Not quite my tempo. Oh, baby boys. Let's go. Can I get a pot champaroo? What's about the philosophy about um, people need to be pushed to be the chief success? I know. I know it was like questioning that whole thing, but they're, um, you know, from my experience, you know, just by, from my, my life experience and the things I've, I've come to realize as I grow up and stuff like that, is that, you know, there's a certain amount of, like, you should reward, you should reward effort, you should reward effort, and don't focus so much on the results, or, matter of fact, this, don't tell your, your child, or whatever, and this can apply for a lot of things, don't be like, oh, you're so smart, I think it's better to say, you tried really hard, you did this and this correctly, you worked really hard, good job on, you know, achieving whatever you did because you worked hard. If you're praising the attributes, you're calling someone smart, you're, you're attacking the wrong thing. You're not actually helping as much as you think you are. 
And uh, I know that Whiplash was kind of looking at this concept that, like, the downsides of overly pushing. What happened? No, I'm just talking about personal experience about, like, <laughs> discipline. I I'm going off on a tangent. <laughs> I'm going up on tangent, and the, the chat's like, what are you talking about, Jeremy? You don't even have a kid. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop the tangent. Tangent. My girlfriend's like, are you telling people how to raise a kid? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not trying to tell them how to raise a kid. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. And this is something I struggled with a little bit growing up. Um... Of this whole concept of like not having discipline, being self-motivating. I know I'm speaking from experience. I I think I have valuable experience in this. That self-motivation is something I've had to learn because I didn't have the discipline in school. I was I was smart enough to just pass the test and not have to study. Eh, homework, I don't really do homework. I'll do fine. I'm a quick learner. Uh, yeah, essays. Essays, oh, wait to the last minute, right? So this whole concept of procrastination, this whole concept of like, oh, you're, you're a smart kid, you learn quickly, ace the test, he's not even studying, what is this guy doing? Um, it's detrimental, because in life, the, this, this institution of school, which, you know, I know gets a lot of uh, backlash, because a lot of school pra uh, teaches the wrong things. The one thing that school is good at is making sure it gives you, or at least it strives to give you the skills so that when you're in life, you have Self-discipline. Self-discipline. Um, let's dig. Alright, I'll be right back. Give me one second. So if any of you guys are in school, guys, study hard, work hard, do your homework, and apply to college if that's what you so desire, and just, just work hard. Baby, you're ruining my mojo. Can you please stop it, por favor? The mojo. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Baby, you're giving me my mojo. I can't focus on the game, the chat, and then your voice. Oh my god, MK hey, with the $50. The dollars. Going. Holy. Dropping down with the $50 bomb out of nowhere. Here I am talking about... Who knows what I was talking about? Thank you, man. We're the $50, we're 60%? Exactly 60% on the way to the new PC, guys. And I'll tell you what. I'm gonna... So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna get a PC part list. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I want you guys to see what we've contributed to. So we, you know, we're gonna make a good PC. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I'm living in a dream. We're taking a lot of damage. Do stretch goals? What are stretch goals? As soon as we hit our goal, we're good. As soon as we hit the goal, we're good. Oh, Deli, uh oh. Uh oh. We've woken up the Demi Beast. Oh, forgot about that. Big luck, look how you doing, man. Oh, we do got, we do got sneaky strike into malaise. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Okay. Hell yeah. I thought that was gonna change real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not ready. Oh, I hear you never for there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not. I don't really want to push it, but we'll see. We're struggling a little bit, guys. I mean, I don't have the same consistent defense. I don't have the consistent defense I need. Toka, what? Where how have you been, man? I haven't seen you some time. Oh, he's healing up, guys. So we're gonna get rid of everything we just had. So. 
Um, there's no way I can kill him, right? So it would behoove me to do maybe like alchemists, maybe look for some better stuff. I like the vulnerable because I'm going to need it for next time, right? But at the same time, I want to see what alchemist gives me. That's perfect. The intangible is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I like both the dexterity and the intangible. Placer has been treating me well, man. What's elite dangerous? What's up, Robin? How you doing? Oh, look at the dog. Oh, look at the doggy. Flight sim type game, that's cool. It's never failure. I played Dead Cells for the first time yesterday. If you guys haven't seen it, there's a VOD of me, my first playthrough of uh, Dead Cells yesterday. And I, I fell in love, guys. Dead Cells is a great game. And I'm super excited to continue today. Fell in love. He's letting those balls hang. That he is. <laughs> that he is. You know what? I could have done intangible for this turn. But that's fine. I can save intangible for a better turn. I can have back to back intangible with Instance Burner and Ghost in the Jar. I can do intangible now and then Instance Burner next time. How does that sound? You guys like the idea? I like it too. You like that? I like it too. We might even have lethal. You know, if I, if I didn't know any better, we might just have lethal right here. Yes, we do. Great run, guys. Great run. Hovering kites, sneaky strikes, Necronomicon. Everything came together. It was absolutely fantastic. I doubted it. 17-12 was the score. I doubted Hovering Kite. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, did it prove me wrong. Loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.